All right, welcome back. How about time uh, for uh, some Monday motivation uh, today? Now, Larry Olushola is the founder and chief catalyst of the Olushola Larry Coaching Academy, a mind, emotions, and behavioral change academy. Now, he is renowned for his extensive array of works of coaching and uh, publishing and also keynote speaking with individuals and organizations locally and internationally. Now today he's going to be talking to us about environment and relationship. Now, uh, good morning, coach. Hey, good morning, Yomi. How are you today? Uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, it's good to see you. And uh, we know that you're going to be talking to us about something very, very important. And it, it looks like two different issues when you talk about the environment and mm. relationship. And of course, you're going to be telling us how both uh, issues are connected. So talk to us, sir. Yes. All right. You know, um, this is a series uh, where we're looking at, you know, the four critical needs uh, that you, 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 you must have in your life um, for you to survive, for you to thrive and succeed in difficult times like this COVID-19 pandemic. And last week, I talked about the first one, which was purpose, identity, and vision. Purpose is the reason why you are here, the essence of your existence. Identity is who you are and who you are not, what you are and what you are not. And vision is the picture of your desired future and the pathway to your desired future. And today, I want to talk about environment and relationships. And you were asking, what is the correlation between environment and relationship. In fact, what is even the relationship between environment, relationship, and purpose, identity, and vision? And yeah. I'm going to lay it now. Mm -hmm. Environment is, you know, um, your physical, psychological, um, spiritual, and emotional um, atmosphere. Mm. You know, we were all nurtured into nature. That is, you know, the environment that we're born into, that is your family, um, <clears throat> your home, and, you know, with the people and the things we, we, within it is what we define as an environment. So right. we're not just talking about a physical space. Yeah, because I, I wondered about that. I wondered about that. Once you said environment, lots of people are thinking uh, where I live or my community. But you're, you're talking something that's a little bit deeper and sort of like a sum total of your experiences. That's it. That's it. Your environment you know, uh, influences your, the entirety of your experience. It, it influences how you are nurtured into your nature. And so your nature is a function of what your father, your mother, your peers, your, you know, your teachers have taught you over time. And it, it encompasses the relationships that you have around you. Now, I often say to people, you know, um, show me your friends and associations and I will accurately predict your future. <laughs> you know, he who walks with the wise shall be wise. Hmm. The companion of fools shall be destroyed. And so for you to survive, for you to thrive and succeed, you have to ask yourself, what am I inheriting? What have I brought from my past environment? Because the influence of your past environment is critical to what you experience today. The influence of your environment today will be critical to what you can achieve in your vision in your purpose tomorrow. Thank you so much. I, I wanted to. I wanted us to uh, revisit the issue on of environment, especially your past affecting your future. There are a lot of people who said uh, because of the product of uh, being in a particular environment and how they were raised, they use that as an excuse for uh, maybe their behavior today or their character or why they are not successful or why they are not making progress. How do you break out of that kind of chain? Uh, and start making progress into your future. Environment is very critical to your survival, your thriving, and your success. The people that surround you and the things that you surround yourself with is very, very critical. They must be going in the direction of your vision, in the direction of your identity, in the direction of your purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, let me use a final example to, to illustrate this. If you get into a ship or a plane. Yes, we know that the plane will take you from where you are to where you desire to be. <laughs> but if you are going to Tokyo, Japan, and you board a Lufthansa flight that is going to Germany, you are on a plane, you are on a flight with people, but you are on a plane, on a flight, with people that are going somewhere else. Even though the environment seems right, but the destination 
is wrong. So mm. you have boarded a flight that is not going where you're going. You are in the wrong environment with the wrong people. Mm. And so when we talk about environments and relationships, right, it is in line with your vision and your purpose. Mm. Now, a man without a purpose, a man without a vision is a man that is going nowhere. And a man that has not aligned his purpose, his identity, his vision with his environment, and his relationships is a man that will soon be frustrated, irritated, he will be depressed, he will be stressed, he will be anxious, he will be worried, and he will destroy himself. We have to take a break now, and we'll be right back with the third hour of the show.